we got our buddy Frankie. He is from China, and he is celebrating California Surfing Day. So how was the waves out there today? Oh, it's perfect. I asked you one day up to catch the wave. So it's the last time I can surf in the West Coast, I think, in, the, in this year. So I'm really enjoying catching a big wave and walking on the board. So it's my third time surfing. Wow. Yeah, I really enjoy the train along for that. I really like to see California. It's the best place in the world, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, so okay, place. well, welcome to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you in the beaches of the world, buddy. Ciao. Ciao. Stop, drop, surf. Today is California Surfing Day, and what better place to be than Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA. We all come together as like a family, as like surfers, and we all have fun and celebrate. Surfer Logan Hofstetter was pretty amazed to learn today's resolution was made official when it was passed by the state assembly and senate. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. It's a get out of jail pass. It's like Monopoly. Oh, On such an important day, I figured there was no better time to paddle out and give it a shot, or two, even three. Each attempt ending in heartbreak. It was entertaining for those on shore. We were rooting for you. You almost made it up a couple of times, so we were cheering for you. This gives new appreciation for full body workout. Rocky, what was I doing wrong? You know what? You weren't doing anything wrong. It's it's all about having the proper equipment. For me, that meant a bigger board. Good advice from a local legend. And while Coach Rocky and I paddled back out, we did so with more appreciation for what this day really means to those who live it. I've been surfing since I've been like two years old, so I've always been in the ocean, and I just love it. Not to mention the multi-billion dollar economic impact. It helps bring in business. We have surfboard manufacturers. You have the world championships that are here, you know, for back in the 60s. So, I mean, this whole area is just fantastic. Back in the water after enough time, I was up. While it wasn't pretty, it was a proud moment for my coach. It's why he loves this lifestyle. On California Surfing Day, stop, drop, and surf. You did it. How does it feel? Miracles do happen. Reporting from Huntington Beach, Mark Kutterobles. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, guys, we are live down at the pier with all of these incredible, iconic human beings, surfers, for California Surfing Day. Let's start out with Jericho. Jericho, why is California Surfing Day so important to you? Well, I really don't know because I do it every day and it's my life. So I'm so glad that finally we're being recognized as an official sport of California. And today we're here like every day. For what? Surfing. For what? Stop, drop, and surf. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, why is it so important to you to have California Surfing Day? It's my passion, it's my business, it's what I get to share with the world, and uh, I'm stoked to finally see it get its recognition and it's just deserved. It's, uh, it's amazing to be a part of it, and I'm lucky to be a part of this tribe. Amazing group of people, and hopefully we get to spread the word and awareness to get people, even out here with special needs, out surfing with us. Amen. Thanks, Rocky. Brett, why is California Surfing Day so special to you? life. This is my life. This is, what, this is all I know. But I'd be down here and today stop, drop, and surf. <laughs> when are you going to head out? I don't know. I don't got my suit on, but, <laughs> oh, look, but, you, but you got your sticker I'm, on. I got my sticker. I'm ready. I'm ready at any moment. I'm sure you're Rocky's got my backup board. Rocky's got your backup board. Okay, I am. I'm going all the way through. Come on, you guys. you got to tell yeah. us why. Why is it important? Because uh, the ocean is uh, a spiritual place. It's a place where we can come to get some reprieve. And California is a beautiful state. The weather's great all year round. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, you got to tell why. Tell us about Operation Surf. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, surfing has uh, healing powers. Uh, and uh, it's a great place to come and surrender. Not yet. I'm starting one, and next year I might do some. That connection, right? Yeah. That healing connection. That healing connection. What you know, a lot of people don't surf. So what does that mean? No, I know. Yeah. I'll probably do. I'll you know, to, 
It's hard to explain it to somebody that doesn't stir it, other than uh, when you go in the water for the first time, you pick up that. There is the 73% water power to it. When you get an opportunity to go get it out, the sun's out, and with your friends, uh, you can't help but just surrender and present one with number one. And you're you're working closely. You're working closely with our our uh, military. Yeah. 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 So we have an organization called Veterans Out Surfing. And, uh, you know, our mission is to uh, build the hearts and minds of military heroes one way at a time. Thanks so much for all you do. Okay, Clive, what are we doing with the lifeguards? HB lifeguards, shout hey, out. This is California. <laughs> what makes California unique? We have an ocean. What do people like to do in the ocean? They like to surf. It crosses all cultural, gender barriers, age barriers. It brings everybody together. Political views are put aside, and everybody goes out and surfs. And this is what this day is for. We're Woo! <laughs> California surf day. We're out here very early. It's not even 6 a.m. We got Chewy over here. We got Courtney. I know, right? Oh my gosh, look at this. Hold on. The tribe is arriving. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like the cavalry has shown up. <laughs> okay, Courtney. Real quick, I'm going to Chewy next. Tell us why why is California Surfing Day so important to you? Just winning after just winning the US Open. Uh, well for me, surfing is my family lifestyle. It's what brought us together. We're all passionate about it. We love it. It brings us all at beach. And uh, it's a healthy living. It's something that causes a lot of peace and a lot of fun. And you know, every single time I go in the water I'm very grateful to be able to live this lifestyle as my career and you know, and be able to pass it to others. I think a lot of surfers focus on preservation of our oceans and try and give them back to our environment and protecting the seas we get to surf in every day. Okay, so you're just touching on something extremely important to all of us. To say a little bit more about what you think, how surfing can be the driver for keeping our oceans healthy and, and clean. Yeah, for me, I think surfers are the environmental warriors. We're always out there trying to preserve our seas, and, uh, you know, we happen to have one of the most beautiful things as our field that we get to play in. And, uh, you know, it passes so much love to everyone. You know, the majority of our planet is the ocean, so we have to do our best to Oh, what are you going to do today? I'm going to surf and uh, obviously have a nice beach day. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for being here. We love it. Keep winning out there. Chewy, what do you think? Give us a few words on what's California Surfing Day to you. I'm glad that we get to be officially recognized as a state that has a sport that is surfing, which we've been surfing here in California forever. Awesome. We're all surfers. I'm going to promote it inside of things, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we're all here. Everybody's uh -huh. all stoked about sir, being here. And Thank you, Chewy, for being here. Mr. Ramsey, what's California Surfing Day? Come on, jump in here, you guys. What's it to you? Uh, my hope is that eventually we start using it as a reason to honor uh, different groups and communities that use surfing as a vehicle to help other people. Just like just like uh, Danny Nichols with Operation Surf, we got Maui Ola, uh, there's a Monrovia Surf Club that helps a lot of kids during the summer. These groups, I'm hoping, will be recognized by California Surfing Day and make it uh, a reason to celebrate the great sport of surfing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, John! You talk a lot about bringing everybody together from yeah. from the, you know, inland as well throughout yes. the whole state. Oh, yeah. You said something really important to me yesterday. Say it again. Uh, Can you remember? No, I mean, we said a lot of stuff yesterday. I, I just I just know this one thing. Surfing is a great sport. And it is something that can unify a lot of uh, 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 people to to go out and and, and use it watch like out, watch out. as a reason to help other people. It just did, <laughs> and it just got all my <laughs> socks all wet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shaka people yeah, out here for the day. Come on, tell us about why you're here. California Surf Day. It's all about sharing the stuff. Like the last ride, that's what surf is all about. That's what surfers are, and that's what the shaka people. Oh my God! Thanks for being here. Duke! I just want to say that the wave just like panned out. <laughs> panned out, panned out. 
Oh, just came oh we up. have water? Look at that. Assemblyman Harper, yeah, wet feet and all. <laughs> Duke, why is it important? So, California Serving Day is important because it embodies the perpetuation of the Hawaiian culture where serving came from. So California, you're welcome for the gift of serving. And thank you very much for making some noise, making it fun, and letting everyone know that we got to stop dropping service. <laughs> Okay, I think we need an aloha, Duke. You are a semi-tie guy. Just a little aloha. Uh, no, uh, uh, let's go. Aloha! Woo! <laughs> Assemblyman Harper, you were a big part of making this day happen. What do you think? Why, why is it important to California? Well, it's important to not the Californians who surf, but it's actually very important to the Californians that don't surf. <laughs> Surfing and beach culture is a big part of what we are as Californians. Whether you live near the Sierras or the deserts or here next to the beach, it's important to the reason why people visit California. It's important to the reason why people live in California. And it affects us overall. One thing I think is incredible about this state is our dedication to beach access. With the passage of the California Coastal Act, the beaches belong to everyone. And I have always fought for that, whether it meant our beach bonfire rings, surf access, and so many other ways that people enjoy the beaches. So how, so how are we keeping them clean? How are we keeping them healthy? Like, what, what, what's your stand on connecting the power of surfing with, with clean oceans? So it's so important to make sure that we keep our beaches clean, keep our water clean, because that's a big part of making sure that our beaches are enjoyable, that our beaches are healthy places to be able to visit. And that's a big part of what we are as a state, is making sure that people can have a nice place to be able to thrive and do business raise their kids and enjoy their families yep. and that's why I supported surfing while I was on the high school board with our surf teams yep. and the city council was celebrating 100 years of surfing and now carrying SCR 122 to make September 20th every year California Surfing Day. Thank you Assemblyman Harper. Thanks for coming out this Absolutely. morning. Okay we got a whole bunch of people out here today. Oh, look who's here. We've got Mayor Posey of Good Huntington morning. Beach. Hey, California Surfing Day, September 20th. <laughs> okay, so Mike, tell us how this all came about. This the all, squishy this, part. Huh? The, the squishy part. part. This, this all, this California Surfing Day was born out of a conversation I had with Diana and surfing royalty at the surfing museum. We talked about what's... Thank you. What, including Chewy. Including <laughs> Chewy, yep, including yeah, yeah. Chewy. And, uh, and it came about as, you know, what's next after the big board record and the paddle out record and how can we keep this vibe going and really recognize the surfing community and, and the Groms and really maybe set the stage for an Olympic surfing village here in Huntington Beach. So we came up with California Surfing Surfing Day with Senator, California State Senator Janet Nguyen, she brought forward a Senate resolution declaring the whole state of California Surfing Day, but she gave us uh, a little bit of a heads up because it was, of course, our cooperative idea. So Huntington Beach, me, Diana, and Surfing Jericho, like Chewy, Pop, a lot of the team captains. Barnes, yeah. Uh, it goes on and on and on. Uh, Don, Don Ramsey. New Kaipa, I could go on and on all the names. But, yeah. So we flew up to Sacramento and we claimed the resolution for the city of Huntington Beach. We were the only city up there to claim this resolution on behalf of the entire state of California. But we know in the entire state of California where Surf City is. That's Huntington Beach. We are Surf City. Thanks to Jan and Dean, uh, we are Surf City. So. so let's zoom in closely on that logo. Yeah. So okay, how logo. cool is that? This is, this is, you probably already have a video of this, but this is Huntington Beach Surfing Royalty. This is Jericho Poplar and this is Paul Strout. Amen. On, and and on, Jericho on Poplar, for those who yeah. don't know, she was the first woman first champ. female champion. And then Paul Strout brought surfing from Hawaii to California That's with right. hand-in-hand hand with Duke Kanemoku. That's right. Very cool. Very exciting. 